Hi, John here with episode 5 of Sports Racer Interviews, an opportunity to get to know the sports racers, the folks who populate the forums at zayfrank.com, just a little bit better. In this episode, I had the rare opportunity to meet and interview a sports racer face to face, the results of which will be brought to you over the course of the next few episodes, and will include such topics as art, alcohol, and the alphabet. You want to be sure to catch them when they come out, so if you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get notified when new episodes are posted. As a side note, for you technically minded video enthusiasts, I know I broke the 180 degree camera placement rule, but our environmental options were limited, so we just thought we'd have fun with this interview anyway, and we hope you enjoy it too. Want to know more about this project? Check out the info in the video description. Read up, jump on board, and hopefully we'll see you around in the forums. All right, let's go. Hi, John here, DV Watt in the forums, and uh, I'm back again for another episode of the Meet the Sports Racers interview video series. And I'm here today with Lauren, who many of you on the forums probably know as Sassy Pants. And I'm really excited to have this opportunity to chat with you for this interview. So welcome and thanks for being here. Thank you. I'm also really excited. Awesome. Really? I have a quick question. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, because sports racer, I haven't heard Zay use that term yet. And so I've been kind of interested in if he's changing it. I've heard him use forum nistas. Ah. So I don't know if there's a switch, but I still like sports racer. It's much easier, you know. We, uh, we've, we've long embraced it, you yeah. know. So um, it's already something that I think a lot of folks have self-identified with. And some of them are going to be like, well, if Zay, if Zay clamps down and comes up with a new one, there will, there will always be a constituency that will jump at that one and say hey, we're this now right right okay and some will say no no I, I always have and always will be so I don't really know what a sports racer is and it's hard to explain that to people so right um, it's nice to be comfortable with our own confusion just send them to the wiki <laughs> amen <laughs> um, how you doing I'm all right. It's a beautiful day in weird Fairfield. We were looking around here in this beautiful town of Fairfield uh, for an, um, a location to do this interview. And uh, the first two places we both were pointed to via our GPS were not good. <laughs> so we fortunately found this beautiful park. It was an amazing adventure. I have to say, this is the kind of thing that wouldn't happen if you were just trying to meet a friend for coffee. This right. is This is purely... Internet community, wonderful. Well, you're the very first. I would first, never have been here. You're the otherwise. very first sports racer that I've actually met in real life, and so I would be disappointed if it hadn't become an adventure. Right. So, yeah, there you. was definitely some human baton sort of <laughs> bouncing around. So uh, yeah, being a sports racer now, if you uh, uh, can can illuminate us a little bit and share with us a few things about how you've become one, tell us about your sports racer history. Okay, um, it's so weird to feel. Like, I became one because it seems like there would be this demarcation of when I wasn't and when I was, which is strange, and I don't like to think of labels, but to humor the question, I guess. Um, I have always been a pretty big internet person. Um, when I was in college, I was playing flash games as they came out. Um, I was really into flash games, especially those that were puzzles. Um, and puzzle based and I think how I found Zay was through um, I think it was the flower thing there was a flower garden project where it was just this, one of those little toys a web toy and you could make a flower and it was so cool because right. you would just put anything and it was symmetrical all around um, and it was really beautiful all the results and there was almost a community right there even uh, because you, once you made your flower it would grow onto a little vine there and it would show everyone else's flowers and could click and see who did it and where they're located, which is such a great idea um, and just really lovely. But through, I think through that one or something else, I just found all the other web toys. And I'm really surprised because it was a long time ago um, that I never found a show back then. So I actually didn't see any of the previous show until um, somehow I saw the Kickstarter. And I remember his okay. name from from all the web toys that I had experienced years ago. And uh, and I saw the Kickstarter, and, you know, it was immediately captivating because I knew right away that he was just a personality 
that was important for for all of our generations. And so um, I saw the Kickstarter and I immediately was like, I'm going to have to participate in this. And it was, and then I was surprised to see um, that there were all these other people that seemed to know all of this other stuff and they were using all this lingo about that there was another show. And so I went to go check that out and I was like, how did I not see this before? So, um, so that was kind of weird and I felt left out because it was so right up my alley um, and what I would have been doing at the time. Uh, so I'm happy to be a part of this community. Uh, I feel like I'm getting that second chance. Well, you've come out, you've made up for that, you know, that sense of being <laughs> left out. You, uh, you jumped right in and you've interacted with so many people and it's so, as I said earlier, you're so present uh, on the forums by not just, you know, starting uh, threads, but also being very responsive to other people's and just really interacting in a lot of different places for, uh, in, in both fun and also very serious ways. Yeah. So um, tell us about what keeps gravitating you towards uh, being, you know, being active on there. Um, my understanding of internet communities and especially of forums is you get out of it what you put into it. Um, and I definitely had seen a lot of, uh, not a lot, but there was a handful of postings of people that didn't feel like they were involved and they were they would start a post saying how do I get started what do I do and the first answer that everyone gave was always jump in start doing stuff start participating and I think that's true of any forum that's true of any internet community it's true of any community really beyond the internet is if you want to be a part of it then you just start being a part of it and you put your foot in every door that you see or any anything you find that's interesting go for it do something um and the great thing about the the forum is there are so many different things to do. If you're an artist, there are so many uh, different threads that need artists. If you're a musician, there's music, musician threads. There's, um, you know, reading stuff. There's photography. I mean, it's this incredible, multifaceted, diverse uh, collection of threads. And so I... I would think, how could you not get involved? Yeah. There's something for everybody. You You're know? right. There's definitely this. In a lot of ways, it just it skews towards creativity. Right, right. That's um, true. And fun. And, you know, that kind of... People who get enjoyment out of that. Not the entertainment of, you know, being being passively entertained, but rather get involved and find that to be an entertaining endeavor. Yeah? Right. Well, that... And I also like about the community that... Um, even the people that aren't incredible fine artists... They, they can draw a stick figure and still participate, and no one's judging them. No one's saying, "Oh, well, my art's better than yours." You know, there's there isn't that competition. There's there's complete support. It's like, oh, it's really cool that you participated. Everyone is so welcoming and so non-judgmental in yeah. that manner, um, as far as skill goes. That uh, that once again, I mean, even if you're not a talented musician, you can still you know press some buttons and make a remix. Yeah. I mean, that's incredible. And in fact, some of the tools that have come out uh, over the years with the community is online interfaces that have kind of allowed that. Um, a little sidetrack, we may be capturing some uh, moments of tension here in the beautiful park. <laughs> this is gonna be the next Fellini film. <laughs> Well, a lot of people with no teeth have been drinking a lot, so they're not going to be biting each other in the face. Sorry. No bath salts here. No. It's all booze related. Um, I'm ready to throw beers. In not me. I'll drink them no. first, throw the can. There's no weight. Oh, yeah. I can always buy more beer. <laughs>